guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today, we're going to go ahead and knock out um, another one of these titles um, for the AGL Evolution Blue Vegeta. Um, at stage 77, we're able to get a title. Now, at the moment, there's not really, I guess, too much incentive to do this. Um, it certainly is nice to get the extra Zenny, right, going from stage 30 to stage 77, right? You're going to get yourself a nice amount of extra Zenny. Um, I know a lot of regular players, you know, are sort of struggling with Zenny when it comes to, you know, being able to EZA the, just like the dozens of units they seem to EZA nearly every single celebration now. But I really do feel like these titles, um, like they, they should be doing more. I, I talked about it. Um, in, I think the last one of these I did, was it the Great Apes one, I believe? Um, in that one, right? Here, let's do this, bam, and then he's done. Um, so in the last one, I thought that what they could do with these titles is have them give stats buffs similar to what they do in Legends, right? In Legends, a lot of these different titles for, like, clearing story events or grinding up certain free-to-play characters and stuff like that, a lot of them, um then give you stats, permanent stats, um, to all of your characters, even in PvP across all modes. I feel like Dokkan, they could make it pretty fun, and they could easily sort of do that, right? So, all these EZAs, right, they have, um, three different titles associated with them. So, like, for the Stage 30 title, you know, like, just have it be stuff related to Evolution Blue Vegeta. Maybe for the Stage 30 title... Like, all Universal Survival Saga characters get, like, an extra 50 HP. Like, like that's just, like, a permanent buff to your account. I think that would be really, really interesting to see, right? You know, the stage, you get you get another title, what, a stage 50? And then there, maybe, like, Vegeta family characters get an additional, um, you know, like, like, 10, like, 50 defense or something like that. And it's, like, it's one of those things where each title individually is not like sending you over the edge like oh my god like i'm my, my account is so much stronger i'm crushing every difficult content mode that I couldn't beat before it's not like that would happen but it's something that like if you were doing all the content you would build your characters up to be stronger i mean i don't know i guess it could be difficult for them to sort of balance it like all old content would like inevitably get crushed right but, like, they they could even drop titles and these buffs for so much. So, so, so real quick, I just want to head over to the, the My Data thing and show the titles I'm talking about, right? Like, they could even have titles for, you know, fully grinding up, like, certain free-to-play characters and stuff like that would be so easy. So, here's the Vegeta run. Again, you have the Stage 30 title, Stage 50, and then the Stage 77, which is the one that we're going to get, right? Have each one of these titles just give some stats to something. I, I think doing it based on category is a good way to do it. Um, and then, you know, your characters will get buffed, right? This could help you, you know, work towards taking down difficult content. And then, you know, the next major celebration, like worldwide or anniversary, they drop some crazy difficult new content stage anyway. Um, again, the only thing about this idea of mine is that, like, you know, if you're doing titles for all of these, so, like, you know, here's Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, and say the first one gives, you know, 50 defense to youth, and the second one gives 50 attack to fusion. And then the last one gives like 50 attack to like fuse fighters, right? You know, once you get all of these titles, your account probably would take a serious turn up at that point, right? So it's like, I certainly could see why it would be a little bit iffy with the balancing. But I mean, it would be less of an impact, I think, than like the link level update probably was. So I don't know if it's even really like that big of a deal, right? Um, here, let's go ahead and jump back in. So, let me know if you guys like that idea. Um, I think they could do that. The other thing they could do with titles is certainly they could allow titles to increase your Dokkan account power level. I really feel like the, pow the power level is an amazing concept that they really fumbled pretty badly. They made it way too easy to sort of like, you know, I, I, like, I don't know what the word I want to use here is, but they just like muddle with your score, right? Like, as of right now, the account power level is not really an accurate representation of how good someone's account is. It's not. There's too many factors. Like, days logged in, I think, is really huge. You know, like, I think rainbow units should matter a lot more 
you know, like, if someone just mods, like, you know, every, like, N and R unit to full level 10 links, but they've got, like, more, a higher account power level than someone who, you know, has got, like, perfect chain battle setups, Angel, Super Saiyan 3, Goku's TUR, and SSR, Rainbow, and stuff like that. Like, it, they just didn't do it correctly. And I think by opening it up and giving uh, power level for so many things, titles, days logged in, right? Like, there's there's a lot more that they could sort of add to it, I think, that can make the uh, power level more fun. Um, one other change I think they could do, because from what I saw, it looked like a lot of people with the account power level, they're all pretty much it, like near a similar number. Because I think what a lot of people do is they'll link level... A unit and you know maybe get like their links you know like the five six seven range i feel like a lot of people have got like a just a dozen characters all over the place who just are like full level five links and full level seven links and stuff like that right so it's like i think rather than just mashing all of the points that you get for the power level from just the level 10 link i think it certainly would have worked a lot better if it was staggered from, you know, link level 2 to 10, right? You get a little bit of power level every single time a link levels up. I think that would have been a better way to handle it, right? Um, I mean, they could always definitely implement these updates, right? Because it definitely seems like after version Z, um, they are really trying hard to take, like, feedback and stuff like that um, sort of for, like, a lot of these things, right? Like, they've talked about listening to players' feedback for, like, the friend system update. So, like, these are things that, like, I feel like it, right now with version Z and the way they've sort of handled it, it doesn't feel like I'm just like spouting bullshit into the air or something like that, right? Uh, it feels like some of this stuff actually could come to fruition, like it actually could happen. So um, that's definitely exciting, right? Like a, a, the game doesn't seem like it's going anywhere anytime soon, Dokkan. Uh, the seventh anniversary was actually like the peak of the game, the pinnacle of the game. So it's like, like we, we, we just hit the peak seven years in. So it just makes me think that Dokkan is, again, going to continue to be around for a long time. Um, you know, the, the movie is going to introduce a bunch of new characters and new stuff, which is going to be exciting. Um, you know, if an anime would ever come back, you know, or if whoever, I don't know who it is, Shueisha or whoever has the iron grip on these manga characters that they have not allowed to be in these games. Like, as soon as that happens and, like, Moro is in, like, Legends and you know, Dokkan and fighters and stuff like that. Like, that certainly would drive up excitement as well. So, you know, all this feedback, all these potential changes that Dokkan could make to, you know, just the system and the game in general, I think would work really well. I, I, I think I think it would be very good to sort of implement all of these changes, you know, make that count power level definitely better. Because people, I, I mean, it, it's definitely a very, I think it's a fun system. Like, each Dokkan account having a power level, like it, you know, it, it works well in, like, the, the term, like, you know, in how Dragon Ball works. You know, how power level and stuff like that was such a huge thing in the Saiyan and Frieza saga, right? I love it. But um, I don't know about the way they've handled it thus far, right? Like, they, I think it, it just definitely can be, is something that can be improved. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to remain optimistic and hopeful that it will. Just like that friend, dude, that friend system update is on its way. It's coming any day now friend system update next update that we're gonna get will uh, surely be the friend system update right guys right yeah <laughs> probably i don't know y'all let me know what you think um so there we go we got the stage 77 title to the ajl blue vegeta eza um there's still a lot of stage 77s i have to hit there it is right there uh for a lot of ezas basically I used to grind easy A's, right? Like it was like it was fun. I enjoyed it, um, but I stopped once link leveling became a thing because I've been link leveling characters ever since the day it came out. So it's like if we go up here and take a look at a lot of the titles and stuff like that, I think the very first easy A that came out after the link level update was Super Seventeen, and like I think if we go back and take a look, yeah, look, Super Seventeen, I only got the stage thirty for him. But then let's take a look at a couple of ECAs just before the link level update happened, right? It's like, here's God Topo and Dispo. I did theirs. I don't think I did Super Saiyan 3 Broly. I did not. But then Kale and Khalifa right before that, I did hers as theirs as well. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I thought I did. Okay. Well, but yeah, I basically stopped doing this uh, hardcore, like, once the, the link level update thing was a system, right? 
like once that was actually a thing so a lot of these easy a's i'm gonna go back and try and get those done get the stage 77 and then get these titles so let me know what you guys think of uh, a lot of the new updates in dokkan and 2022 so far thanks guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next time